first and goal sneaking car. And no signal. Now there is touchdown there is. Bulldogs. Car on the roll for Berrien inside the five with three wides. And oh, the slant in for Mark. On third and goal, Oaks on the roll. To the end zone, uh, intercepted. He threw it. Barring a defensive penalty. They're going to make Oaks scramble. Here's the heave. Minardi down there, and it is batted around and intercepted, and Fresno State has the big road win they've been looking for. The Bulldogs do it at Colorado. 24. Call. In. Touchdown. give his players any excuse to lose tonight. Rich. Oh, that's a fly. Terrell Roberts was hammered. This is a dangerous play, and I think he was really trying to time this up. I think he was trying to time up the football. And then he gets up, and watch this ball. <laughs> helps in recruiting, helps with your facilities. David Carr. Oh. 24-10, Fresno State, car to the air again, and Perry's got a man, there he goes, Rodney Wright, he's 20, he's 10, he's touchdown! In the second half, Carr, the pump fake, going deep, man, and the car! In college football, the Fresno State Bulldogs, David Carr and his Bulldogs. And the biggest crowd ever to see a game storms the field. September 22nd at Penn State. 20 seconds left in this one. Fresno State has polished off Colorado on the road at home against Oregon State, and we thought this might be the biggest game in the program's history. Maybe it is. Certainly on the road, you'd have to say that, and Pat Hill is a happy man. This <laughs> That's for Ruha. And once again, this is well within his range. Low kick. And it is good. Hassan Asparuha for a moment, then backs out. Suggs launches one. Mesa has got the interception. D. Mesa at the 40. He's got a convoy of blockers. D. Mesa. Touchdown, Fresno State. Third and 14. Pinnaker going up top. Looking for DeAndre Gilbert. He's got it. DeAndre Gilbert complete. Gilbert down the sideline. And Gilbert inside the five. What a catch by the Jutes. Down by one. Right up the middle goes Davis, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Davis from three yards out. A holdover. Now Bilbo being rushed. Throws. Got a man. And it's intercepted. You run the ball. Keep the ball on the ground. Keep the clock going. Rodney Davis. You got to stop Rodney Davis. Touchdown. There he goes. Rodney Davis to the house. Touchdown. And he flips the ball into the stand. Bilbo firing one, and it's intercepted. James Sander. Good game, good game plan. Paul Pinneger, if you're wondering, had an okay day. He made some big plays, and that will do it. Clock 
running down. And the Fresno State Bulldogs get their first win since the 1992 Freedom Bowl when they dispatched of the USC Trojans. So let the celebration begin in the San Joaquin Valley. Fresno State wins the Silicon Valley Football Classic for the first time ever. Once again, our final score, the Fresno State Bulldogs outlast the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Against the WAC, Beavers favored by about nine points. Fourth quarter, Oregon State up 14-13, going for the chippy field goal. It's blocked. But then Fresno State is called for a penalty. What happened? Well, watch the replay. That's fine, that's fine. But right there, throwing the ball forward, Bryce McGill, that's a penalty. Oregon State goes for it, gives it to their stud, Steven Jackson. But Pat Hill's defense, they shut up and they hit somebody. 220 left, Jeff Grady rolling. He's going to find Bernard Berrien. Sick all week, lost eight pounds. He's already scored six points. Same drive, field goal, 36 seconds. Brett Vicentainer, 47-yarder. It's good. And the Raising Kings beat the Beavers 16-14. That early interception, they've recovered. 14th play of the drive. Second to goal at the one. Hand off to Sublin again. Sublin is in for the touchdown. At the 44 of UCLA. Penninger's going to temp it to the near side to Sublin. Sublin to the 40. He's to the 35. He's to the 30. The 20, 15, 10. Touchdown. Dennis Wagner, the assistant head coach and offensive line coach. That offensive line, I thought, did a great job against the UCLA's front seven. And so, Fresno State will finish the year at 9-5, and five, and UCLA will lose their fifth straight game. And uh, they are going to drop for the year to 6-7. and seven. But one of the things you have to give UCLA credit for, they were down in this game big time, 17 to nothing, but they fought back. Well, Terry Donahue mentioned that Carl Durrell's football team, UCLA football team, would not quit. Gary, they did not quit. There's a lot of fight. I knew he would. Intercepted, and this is going to be a touchdown. Picked off by James Sanders. Penninger going to throw, looks to the end zone, slam, caught, touchdown! Seattle, four-point ball game, and there's a fumble, ball's loose, picked up by Fresno State, and it's going to be a touchdown for Brian Morris on the first snap for the final period. The give again is to right, he's got a gap at the 20, the 15, a foot race, he's in! Touchdown, Bulldogs, and they've busted. Straight back, pause, they come off the edge, pause, throws, intercepted. Picked off by Marshall. Marshall down the sideline midfield. He's got pause to beat, and he beats it easily. And Fresno State is going to have its third defensive touchdown of the game. 75 yards. They are the biggest ticket in that area. They got a lot of pride. Well, that's what that green V is on the back of their helmets. That's to say we are from the greatest agricultural area in the United States, the San Joaquin Valley, and uh, that's what we play for. It's, we're not about the city of Fresno. We're about the whole San Joaquin Valley. Well, I think the San... Fernandez, the man in motion. Right. Up the middle. Bulls his way in. Touchdown. Fresno State. Right. He is in the end zone. And Second and nine from the 10. Pinder oh. out of the backfield and into the end zone. Touchdown. And Fernandez, the man in motion. Pinnegar. Gonna dive in and Fresno State. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, on the board. One more time. Yard line. Pinnegar. Back to pass. Spots a man coming out of the backfield. And down to the 15, the 10, the 5. Wow. Touchdown, Fresno. Someone comes in to replace him and gets the carry, and he immediately jolts into the end zone. And Sumlin has got another tee. Fourth non-conference loss for Bill Snyder's crew, and Pat Hill and the Fresno State Bulldogs dominated today. What a performance. As no play action. Pitter, we're going for the touchdown, and he has it. Perfectly thrown to Atten with the hold. Vicentainer's kick, plenty of leg, and he knocks it home. Boy, Vicentainer, no problem whatsoever. On Second false start of the game. Pinniger going into the end zone floor. The touchdown! Play action. Going for the receiving running back. He's kept in for protection. Pinnegar 
looking in the end zone, and the ball is caught for the touchdown. Jerron Fairman on fourth down. Carter to give Virginia the lead, and he punches it through. First down in the first overtime for Fresno. Pinnaker going for his tight end, and he's got him. Steven Spock scores, and the game is over. Spock, who came into the season with only four catches, has two today, including the game winner in overtime. Well, Spock, season, just his first year in college football. Marlon Moore shakes a tackle down the sideline. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And Stater keeps it himself. Brian Stater keeps the ball. No signal as of yet. And he's in. And he's in. And Josh Freeman in the back. Brian Matthews into the game and into the end zone. Brian Stater looking to Moore. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Touchdown. Well, they took the points. They took all six <laughs> with Harding. Oh, yeah. And it's another oh. touchdown for the Bulldogs. Nate Adams is not a fullback. He's a lineman. He's a lineman. Just <laughs> Still got some quickness in him, though. Look at that. Still got some quickness. <laughs> they pitch it to him. Get a great block. Oh. Well, what a block mm. by Smith. Wow. And that's a touchdown for the Bulldogs. The end zone. Big hole. Big chance for a touchdown. He'll go. No flags. Clifton Smith. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Well, that's the job of the developing and learning what Brandstater can do and what he can do and not ask him to do more than that. Look at Pasco leading the blocks. Touchdown. This is a timeout. At this play doesn't get much. But it gets wow. much. Clifton Smith. Wow. Hold. It'll be the ladder. And the interception by Jake Jordy will wrap it up for Fresno State. Uh, this season, Aaron Perez, one of the best in the Pac-10, on to punt. Marlon Moore, got a seam. There he goes. Touchdown, Fresno State. And a flag. Matthews, cutting back. Could be gone. Touchdown. Worth the three and a half hour ride from Fresno to watch this one. Thinking that. Back of the end zone, touchdown. It is Pasco, the tight end. Under pressure, they throw it this way, set up the screen and have room. Harding jumps over one, gets to the end zone. And it's Matthews who play action. Across the middle, wide open. Touchdown. Chaston West. Sidelines, they're getting everybody up. Clad in red to celebrate. First win ever here at the Rose Bowl over UCLA. From Pat Hill, Fresno State Bulldogs with the win. It wasn't easy, though. Two good friends right there with a lot of respect for First and goal, Matthews, untouched. Touchdown, Fresno State. 10 for Illinois. Williams under pressure early, and the pass intercepted to the end zone. Touchdown, Philip Thomas. 29-yard return. Camp, the fullback. The fade into the end zone. As you're a 2-2, did he catch it? Touchdown. Matthews, touchdown. 21, Ryan Matthews, run for a touchdown. Now Matthews the tailback, and here comes Matthews. On the bounce, to the outside, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone, touchdown! 27 yards of Matthews. Colburn to the air. Colburn's got running room. To the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone, touchdown! Fourth down, Fresno State. Colburn, Hamler, reaches for the end zone. 
Touchdown! Oh. Look at him. Fat Hill's got the hat off. He knows he's doubling down. Matthews, the tail of the tandem in the eye. How do you finish your career? Colburn looking the end zone. Throws it up for grabs, and it's knocked away. Caught by a lineman on the tip to the end zone for the conversion. Is he in? And he is in. Unbelievable. I have no words for what we just saw. Devon Cunningham off the deflection. Watch this, he just threw it up for grabs. It's tipped away by Tavon Wilson. And then there is Devon Cunningham. De six, six, three. High during last night's game, straight through the very end of the Bulldogs' 25-23 victory over Big Ten opponent, Illinois. And as head coach Pat Hill put it, it was a heck of a win. Not the Bulldogs started off strong right off the bat, scoring on their first four possessions. But Illinois answered back when they scored 14 unanswered points, cutting Fresno State's lead to 19-17 just before the half. Senior quarterback Ryan Colburn would lead the team for the rest of the night as they battled back from the minimal deficit. Colburn finished the night 18 of 26 for 304 yards, three touchdowns and zero turnovers. Fans did what they do best against Illini quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse as Travis Brown, Logan Harrell, Chris Carter and Anthony Williams each tallied a sack of their own last night. Nobody could deny Robbie Rouse his time to shine as he surpassed the all-time rushing record at Fresno State and helped the Dogs crush the Colorado Buffaloes 69-14. First play of their fifth drive with an electrifying 94-yard run. Robbie wasn't the only one who contributed to the win. Safety Philip Thomas had three interceptions that tied the Mountain West record. Two of those interceptions were returned to the house for touchdowns. Fast, physical, fanatical. The dogs in the backfield. It's kept by McBaron. He'll walk in for the touchdown. What a play call there by Tedford in Fresno State. McMarion. Easy. Touchdown this time to Kyle Rittering. McMarion keeps it. McMarion diving to the end zone. Touchdown. Second rushing touchdown of the game for McMarion, a guy who is playing injured right now. This is why his teammates love him. He keeps it. McMarion finds that hole. Gets in for the touchdown. DeMarco Murray all over that one. The two. Mims. No, it's kept by McMarion again. Because he was winless when he was at Cal, and Chip Kelly was at Oregon. But Jeff Tedford and the Fresno State Bulldogs came in here to the Rose Bowl, and they showed they were the better team here tonight. The veteran-laden team defeats UCLA 38-14. Slips another tackler. Now he's got nothing but friends, and he's into the end zone. 71 yard pick six. Rivers, running room. Ronnie Rivers is rolling. Open field. Can they catch him? Lucas giving chase. He doesn't get there. The Rivers takes it in for the touchdown. 68 yards. Touchdown run. He's got it again. Rivers hunting the end zone again. Need a field goal, a touchdown, and a two-point conversion. If they can get in range, he's hit as he throws here. The pass too high, and now picked off. Juju Hughes catches it on his knee at the 10-yard line. Wildcat snapped to Rivers, and he got small and found his way in. Boy, that's a wonderful asset for a running back, and you could see 
literally Rivers, as he saw that little hole, he made himself small to fit in. And they're going to give it to Cropper on the motion, and Cropper scores it. So Jalen Cropper, who can run it, and that is a run play. The jet sweep motion, and Jalen Cropper puts Fresno State back in front. This is an absolute model, Yogi, isn't it? As well, what Nile Rivers, nice cutback, and Rivers is going to go. Ronnie Rivers with a Fresno State touchdown, 36 yards. And Thompson Robinson doesn't get it. He tried to go wide, and Fresno State stones him. Lavelle Big. Probably a crossing route. Stop route to the end zone. It is caught. Kelly has got a lot of space on the outside right. Hayner to the end zone. Touchdown, Fresno State. Jalen Cropper. And Jake Hayner is the natural. Utterly incredulous scene at the Rose Bowl. Seconds from having it all be worth it. And Thompson Robinson, this is going to be the play. This is it. Launching it deep down the field into the mass. Broken up and Fresno State has won a game that will be remembered forever.